All right, so this is my fancy new made from leftover scrap wood pot holder. I like to draw in my pots and uh, well, I got tired of having to always hold it in one hand and use the other hand to do the drawing. It kind of started to really irritate the back and hunched over. So I said, I'm gonna try and make something Oh, that will help me out. This is what I got. So, what we got here is we're gonna place our cup. Ah, see it fits right in there very nicely. Uh, and I'm going to use my handy dandy and favorite Scrafito Bison tool. This thing is amazing. I love the points on them. I have this one, I have another one. Uh, if you, if you really do plan to do any kind of, of ceramic work for trimming or scafito work or any of that, get yourself a bison tool. There we go. I don't get paid by them. I wish it did. Pay me. I love them. Uh, but they're just tremendous tools. Uh, the way I like to do my drawings, if you've watched my videos before, you probably know, I don't start with a preconceived plan. I don't have a template I put on here. I just go with the idea in my head and draw from there. I, you know, I'm true drawing, right? And it comes all from the brain. Well, I think about things beforehand, but pretty much all of them end up just coming just from my brain. Today I'm gonna get back into my routine before I start drawing other animals and things. I am going to do my handy dandy, fancy, always functional, always usable. We don't know if he's evil, we don't know if he's good. Scallopus. I really probably need to finish this story out and you know, figure out exactly what he is, but I don't feel like doing that right now, so. Gives me a place to rest, too. I really like this tool. I mean, I got some issues I'll probably work out with a little later. You know, but uh, I'm really digging being able to not have to kill my hand, sit in a comfy chair. and work leisurely, I guess leisurely, I mean I gotta make my way through these things before they dry out, and, but make it nice and leisurely. As you can see, no preconceived notions. If I make a mistake, well, I either have to hide it or live with it. I generally don't try to hide the mistakes. Because really, who's gonna know I made the mistake other than me? Well, something I always try to enforce upon my art students is, hey, it's okay if you make a mistake. Because when you're finished with a piece, most people are not going to have any idea, any clue that you messed up, which is awesome. Yeah. Some of them buy into it, some of them don't. So if you plan to, you know, do this kind of work. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. It's okay. Go with it. Embrace the mistake. Embrace the shape. You know, a mistake might lead you into something totally different that you never knew. Might be that million dollars sitting in the next field. And then just waiting for you to mess up what you're doing reveal itself. 
Like I said, if I make a mistake here, eh, well, I'd ruin the cup. So, instead of throwing cups out, embrace them, hide them, live with them. drawing portion. This is the uh, make my decision. So the more practice I do at it, the uh, better, the easier it becomes. shrink a little bit after they're fired and then I come back and I'll do a wonderful amount of uh, black underglaze which will get into all of those crevices really 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 making the line work stand out and by drawing in a bit leather hard, semi soft clay like this. Gives it a, gives it a texture that you can feel when you pick the pot up. You know, yes, pretty smooth pots are, you know, wonderful things. Nice, nice clays, but there's just Something about texture, something you can feel in your hand. You can flip it around, move it around while you're having a sip of some drink. Whatever drink that might be. And at this point, I gotta count how many uh, tentacles we got in there. One, uh, I guess we got one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eh, we'll put one more on here. We'll go for a nice eight. Not that it really matters because, hey. Who's gonna tell me how many tentacles a uh, Skullipus really has? Doesn't exist. So, how do I get those nice lines drawn in there? Identifying the, the big stuff. Now comes the fun part. And this is where this tool is awesome. I need to, I can just put my thumb right here. And I can really come in here and start doing a little bit of dot making. Uh, for those of you who know what this is, you pick up a pen, you make all these tiny dots, and we call it stippling. Wonderful technique. Again, I like it because, you know, it catches that underglaze stands out and gives it that texture, along with adding a value to the piece, you know? Adding a sense of depth. Some pieces I do hatching and cross-hatching on, but most of it is stippling. I don't know, just keep falling back to the box. <clears throat> continue doing these dots all over the place see thinking about where I want it to be darker how I want it to separate 
you know, the skull itself from the tentacles. I can, I can make my dots deeper, I can make them wider, I can make them smaller, you know, bigger dots, or space close together, makes them appear darker. Smaller dots getting further and further away from each other make them appear smaller and, and, and less dotty and less dark. Giving me a little range of values there. And this is you know, a great way to hold my piece. I can see myself making another one of these to hold larger plates and platters because I draw on those two. Uh, Probably one to hold bottles. I draw on those two. I can even see myself using this for, you know, application of underglaze stencils after they've been fired. You know, the this fire to give them that. And give me that little bit of support so that I can use two hands. Keep that little angle here. So this is uh, this is my new fancy tool, making some scrap wood. Yeah, there's uh, just about every workshop has scrap wood lying around. Uh, if you want to get really fancy, I guess you could go buy some really nice piece of wood from one of those box stores or your local hardware store and make it a little fancier. But uh, yeah, why bother? Get yourself some scrap wood. Go dumpster diving. Now, ask friends. Get those little bits of wood. So, some scrap wood. A few screws, because, you know, you gotta hold it together somehow. And, because I am a potter, Ceramic artist, ceramicist, sculptor, who works in clay. I fire in a kiln, and I need to know what my temperature is. So I have all of those wonderful, wonderful leftover cone boxes. Now I still have cones that have vermiculite in it. Oh yeah, good old fashioned old ones. But the new cones come with foam. Foam. And yeah, I recycled the foam. Uh, this entire piece cost me nothing to make. I have, I had the scrap wood, like I said. I had the screws left around from previous projects. And I pulled the foam out of, uh, you know, cone boxes that would have been thrown away. Going into the trash, right? So recycle, reduce, reuse. Lots of reusing going on here. Matter of fact, uh, this scrap wood actually used to be an old magnet display I used, and then I changed my display, so I took it apart and saved the wood. So yeah, if you do a lot of you know tedious drawing or intricate type stuff on on, on cylindrical items. Uh, make yourself one of these. They're amazing. I mean, it's, it's really simple. You know, I got four pieces of wood on here. Yeah, yeah, one has a shelf to hold it upright, and then two to so it doesn't fall out the back so I can do taller pieces, you know, taller cylinder pieces, taller bottles or bases too. As long as they don't go wider than that distance, it'll be just fine. So yeah, this is, this is what I've been doing. 
I mean, it's been a while since I've posted a video, it's been a while since I've shown what I've been creating. Uh, it's because I hadn't been creating a lot. You know, life got in the way, teaching got in the way, school got in the way. Uh, school's out for the summer. Yay, being an art teacher, getting off for the summer. Summertime, and living's easy. Yeah, it's not really easy living. It's hot. Right now it's rainy. I'm a teacher, so I ain't got any money, so, yeah. It's a staycation all summer long. But, that's why I make pots. So, let me mix up one of these. They're wonderful, I guess I could probably... As you can see, I will be continuing to do this for another 15 to 20 minutes. Of which it will just be lots of dots and dots and dots. And as much as, you know, I would love to have you sit there and suffer through while I make all of these dots, um, I'm pretty sure that is not exactly where you want to do with your entire day. Uh, watching me put in 20, 30 minutes of thousands and thousands of dots so that I'm going to continue my work here but I am not going to continue videoing it just wanted to show off my new little toy that I made tool rather so you can do all kinds of things if you just put your mind to it Think about it, problem solve. Always be problem solving. If you don't want to problem solve, if you don't want to think things out, make your life a little easier, call me up, I'll do it for you. you, you know, pay me, I, I need the money. Uh, but there you go. That is a cup decorating stand or something patented. Pending. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Patent pending. I don't want to see none of y'all trying to make money off my idea. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Anyways, have a great afternoon. Have a great day. Catch y'all on the flip side.